So initially with this week's chapter, I kind of just glanced over it just to like see what goes on. And I always like to take a little sneak peek before I actually read the chapter. And I remember just looking at it and saying, oh dear, this is going to be one boring ass chapter from the looks of it. But I actually went, you know, of course I read it a couple different times to make sure I know everything that went down in the chapter. And I actually enjoy this a lot more so than I thought I would. And I'm just speaking from an enjoyment aspect, not quality-wise or anything like that. At first glance, you would think, oh, it's just about the Tontadas and treble and stuff like that. And you would think immediately, okay, this is probably going to be a boring one. But I read the chapter, and I, w I just had to mention that I was surprised at how much I really enjoyed this chapter, opposed to what I thought I was initially going to enjoy it. So I guess looks can be deceiving sometimes, and even though something might seem like, oh, you might not enjoy it, if you go through it, you actually will enjoy it a lot more than you previously thought. Who would have known? So very basic chapter for the most part, it was the Tontadas were launching their attack against Sugar, and their plan went into disarray. Now, Usopp, definitely, I really want him to get... To a point where it's kind of like, oh, I, like with this week's chapter, I feel as though once again, Usopp's balls went from you would hope that they would be this big, and then they went like this big. It was like, what the fuck, bro? He's just there on the sidelines, and, and that's classic Usopp at the end of the day. He's not there all the time, but he's there when you need him, I guess. Call him Super Usopp or some shit. Like, <laughs> that's the best way to describe him. It's like, yeah, he's not the bravest all the time, but he's brave when it counts, I guess. So when shit is all said and done, he probably will jump in. Now, the Tontadas plan just kind of just went out the fucking window. The, me um, the moment they decided to just immediately launch an attack on Sugar, which Sugar showed to be a lot stronger than what they previously thought. Like, they couldn't do anything, pretty much. He just got all of them and turned most of them into toys, and now they're all fighting back and forth. And it's like, yeah, this little girl that we thought was like just piece of cake, she's a lot tougher than we realize. And I mean, at the end of the day, if you think about it, is Doflamingo really going to employ a little girl if she's not the most fucking talented person out there? And I felt as though with this chapter, while it also had basic elements basically showing the Tontada's plan, it also delved into a bit of comedy with like Robin going undercover, getting trouble out of there. And it was just kind of funny to see Robin in that situation where it's kind of like she's in a way scared for her life against trouble. I mean, I I'm guessing Treble is probably leagues above Robin at the end of the day. Robin isn't that strong, but uh, to see her like as a clone be a little bit scared, it was interesting. And I like the way that she's using her powers now in a little bit more of an interesting way because now she just like was a clone of herself. And I don't remember Robin being able to completely clone herself like that. So that kind of just showed a little bit of progression with Robin where now she could kind of clone her entire self. And we also find out in this chapter that the Tontadas are very naive. They will believe any lie. And that kind of explains a little bit why they've been like enslaved for so long and it's probably somebody that awakened them so they could think, okay, we shouldn't keep doing this. It was definitely somebody's words that changed them and that was like, you know, the source of them kind of rebelling. So there were definitely some interesting bits, but as a whole, this chapter I felt could have done a lot more, mainly focusing on the Tontada's plan and like a little bit of Robin on the cover and Treble and stuff like that. But we really didn't get much else and I felt as though it was very simple for a chapter. It was a bit too simplistic. I mean, uh, for the most part, I could definitely say that this chapter was borderline average. It was like for a One Piece chapter, it was average. Uh, we didn't really get like anything of what's going on in the tournament. We didn't get the Luffy and Zoro stuff. It was just mainly the Tontadas and Treble. And while it did need to progress this aspect, like, okay, so the plan went in motion and it's already going in a disarray. Nonetheless, it needed to happen. So it was an average chapter for the most part. I uh, wish we would have got a hell of a lot more. But for what we did get, it was entertaining, enjoyable and I think it was necessary to do this I just wish a lot more would have happened at the same time and it wasn't just like treble out of the thing and then the Tontadas because it was a lot focused on the Tontadas and while yeah we need some of that some of it just felt very like unnecessary like I honestly don't really care and I don't think any of us really needed to know how naive the Tontadas are that they believe any lie and like especially it was like displayed in like two or three different occasions in this chapter and it was like one, one explanation would have been more than enough so definitely lacking a lot of uh, substance in this chapter, but it was still decent. Like, I, I can't really say that it was a horrible chapter. It was just average. I'm gonna give this chapter a 5 out of 10. Overall, I felt like it accomplished with moving forward the Tontata plan, but it didn't really do anything else. Let me know what you guys think, first of all, with the end of the chapter, Treble smashing that ship in half. How strong do you think, more or less, Treble really is at this particular point? Is he, like, Ice Admiral level? I'd imagine, possibly, it would be a good matchup, like, him versus Zoro 
Marvel or something like that. And also, like in the chapter, just quickly want to mention that it really once again shows the camaraderie between the Doflamingo crew. Like they aren't only just a crew; they actually genuinely, you could tell, feel for each other. Especially when Treble is like, "Oh, people are getting hurt," so he immediately goes out there. It definitely shows them. So, you know, good stuff there. Just your overall thoughts of the chapter. Did you underestimate Sugar like I did? I, I didn't think Sugar was gonna go and kick some ass. So there's that. That's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you hope next week we get a lot more than the Tontadas and Usopp because while this chapter was, you know, it was alright, it definitely lacked on for that world. And as always, people, have an awesome day.